Hi everyone, this is Azamuddin. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If you are new to this channel, consider subscribing. And also check out my Instagram where I post regular case details. Queen's College Step Test is Submaximal Excess Test. It used to measure or assess the cardiovascular fitness. It gives a valuable outcome of VO2 max. This test consists of 3 minutes continuously stepping up and down on a 16.25 inch step or box. Rate of 22 beats per minute for females, 24 beats per minute for males. We have to use metronome beats to set a pace of 22 and 24 beats per minute. In metronome beats, we have to set 88 beats per minute for females, 96 beats per minute for males. For oh, nothing but I have multiplied 22 and 24 uh, into 4 because one step involved up, up, down, down. So one stepping up and down involved 4 beats. Most important part of this test is heart rate measurement. Immediately after finishing the 3 minutes, we have to measure heart rate 10 to 15 seconds in carotid pulse. Because it presented closer to the heart, so we are measuring carotid pulse. If you measured heart rate in 10 seconds, multiply by 6. If you measure 15 seconds, multiply into 4. Apply the resultant heart rate in that formula. Now we are going to see practically. You will get a VO2 max. The equipment and skills required. 16.25 inch steps or walk, stopwatch and metronome beat and most importantly heart rate palpating skill come on let's see practice Easy, easy, easy. Closer to the finish. Closer to the finish. Easy. Good job. Good job. Good job. Thirty, thirty seconds more. Thirty seconds more. Last thirty seconds. Last thirty seconds. Good job. Now the ball. Last ten, nine, eight, hello, eight. Ask 15 seconds like an easy good job. Last 10 seconds. 10. 5. 4. 3. Relax. Relax. This is Queen's College the test VO2 max calculation formula for men and women. Here we have to apply post exercise heart rate. Our model post exercise heart rate was 37 beats for 15 seconds. So multiply by 4, 148 beats per minute. Get 49.1 ml per kg per minute. Validity and reliability of this test compared to cardiopulmonary exercise test performing a treadmill and cycle ergometer is pretty much good but we need large population based study and systematic review and meta analysis to report quality of this test thanks for watching